Well, I think it's right to say that the economy in the here and now is doing well. Uh, we have tight labor markets. We have uh, strong uh, wage growth. Uh, so that uh, can be seen a, as a good thing. But uh, the problem we have in this economy is that we have very high inflation. And even though Mrs. Freeland uh, highlighted the fact that it was uh, lower than in many other jurisdictions, that's uh, still 7.6%. It's still unacceptably high. And the risk with that is that inflation expectations might be getting entrenched. So that's why we see the Bank of Canada moving as aggressively as it has again today. Uh, and ultimately, we have to expect that this will have some consequences. This will bring some pain. We have heard the word pain from uh, Chair Jerome Powell in the U.S. Uh, Canada is going to experience a period of economic weakness. We think it's going to necessitate a recession before we see inflation back to 2%. I think uh, we're at the stage where uh, we need to uh, bring demand in alignment with supply. We have to remember, this is an economy that's been overstimulated by both monetary and fiscal policy during the pandemic. Those measures were necessary, but they have those consequences. So to deal with those consequences, uh, some tough measures are uh, going to be necessary. There are some uh, areas of resilience in the economy. Uh, we talked about the tight labor market, the fact that there's still a lot of savings that will uh, help Canadians go through this. Most Canadians, at the very least, go through this, um, you know, relatively unscathed. And uh, and you you still have the need for some individual in society that are more financially vulnerable to get supported. Uh, but I think we have the elements in point in place to have a mild recession, but we can't uh, dance around the fact that there will be a recession. We don't expect to see a major run-up or as, as high a run-up in the unemployment rate as we've seen in the past, just because of how structurally tight our labor market is right now, but we still expect to see some consequence. Look, we have wage growth rising at more than 5%. And it's going to be very difficult for the Bank of Canada to bring inflation back to 2% if wage growth continues to rise at that pace. So we're going to need to loosen up that, that labor market, same thing in the U.S. Uh, so some people will lose their jobs or income. Uh, it's going to be difficult to, uh, to, to meet their obligations. Uh, so that's why it's important for people uh, that are listening to really uh, check their spending, make sure they, they accumulate uh, savings that they pay down debt uh, as much as they can uh, to be able to go through this uh, in a relatively good fashion.